today. Y'all are gonna be getting ready with me because why not? We have things to do, people to see, places to go. Just joking. <laughs> Good morning. I have about an hour to get ready. I don't know. I always wait last minute. Still waiting on God to work on me in that area of my life. Today I'm going to central London with my mom. We're gonna go sightseeing and then we're gonna go on a little brunch date. That is what we're getting ready to do. Everybody always wanna know like, oh, what do Christian girls do? Babe, we brunch. Well, me. I enjoy lunch, brunch, breakfast, dinner. Take me out to dinner, baby. I currently have like 55 minutes now to get ready. So, let's see. I'm most likely not going to be on time, but I have everything in the front of me that I'm going to need. I already did my skincare and everything. I'm just going to apply the primer and y'all your girl got some new products to try throughout the video when i come across the new products i will let y'all know well the ones that i'm like very excited about and this happens to be one of them i'm gonna prime my face with the elf poreless putty primer majority of my pores are like under my eye something that has been on my heart lately basically being in a season of transition a season of waiting a season of being patient a season of you don't know what's going on right now you obeyed god but you just you're waiting one season has ended and you're transitioning into another season you know in the middle now that's what i'm talking about currently i am in a season of transition myself the only way that you will make it through your season of transition successfully is by trusting God. Well, let's be honest. Trusting in transition or trusting while you're waiting is really hard to do because you know God has told you something, but you can't see it yet. Last week, I just was reflecting on the season that I'm currently in, thinking about how much I've grown Maybe like a year or two ago, I probably wouldn't have felt so content and so at peace with this season of transition because it can't make you anxious. I believe that if you're gonna wait, you need to wait well because then you're just gonna be miserable and you're gonna complain and that's gonna get you nowhere. Yeah, I was like, God, how, how am I dealing with this so well? I wasn't questioning him like, oh, why do I have to do it this way? You know what I mean? A lot of times in seasons like this, we take it for granted and we miss what God is really trying to do in us and through us and we miss the preparation. The season of transition is always preparing you for something. It's preparing your character, preparing your mind, preparing your mindset. If you have a bad attitude towards what God is trying to work in you, then you might not see what he has for you. And I don't know about you, but I'm trying to see what God has for me. <laughs> like, I know some people wonder why. I used to ask God why like every day of life. But I realized that the Bible says you can't understand the way that god thinks what it is that god might be doing in our lives what it is that his intention is like we can't understand it from our level of thinking and our level of reason it's okay to have a season of why god not even a season a minute you have to overcome that why and walk into i don't know why but i trust you it does take a lot of faith to get to that point because who likes to wait let's be real comment below if you like to wait because if you like to wait let me give me give me the tips that i need to enjoy waiting <laughs> first things first my patience i don't have much i'm better than i used to be depending on who you ask it's a process i don't care if you're the patientest person on earth 
a transitional season is gonna stretch you or god is gonna like put you to the test everybody is different right everybody has different levels so he's gonna test you different from how he tests me we live in a world where we get things so quickly so it's kind of frustrating when you could google something in a second and know the answer but you have to wait on god for his direction why do y'all think god carries us through seasons of transition from experience i know that god puts us through these seasons of transitions to grow us to completely depend on him he does it to prepare us for what he has ahead what we can't see he's almost always shown me areas that i didn't know were there things that i need to work on before i could move into the next season you have to be thankful because let's be real if god gave you see y'all distracting me from getting ready hold on where was i foundation i am using the infallible 32 hour fresh wear oh was that a lot i feel like it was a lot but yeah like i was saying if god really gave you what you want when you wanted it do you think you would be a good steward over it if you didn't have to wait a little do you think that you would have it for a long time if you didn't have to go through the process of fixing your character letting go of some relationships all of these things happen in the transitional phase but he is the future he knows why he's doing what he's doing it's god has how many billion people in the world to worry about and you think he wants to spend his good good time trying to do things for fun like no there's a purpose behind everything that he does because we think that we have life all sorted out so he has to come and show you now baby it's my plan that's gonna prevail not yours let me encourage you for a minute instead of asking god why say god thank you for what you're producing in me thank you that i'll be receiving fresh revelation fresh mindset thank you that my faith will be growing in the season because you're going to come through all right next i'm going in with the elf hydrating camel concealer satin finish i find that if you're not asking why god has you in the transition then you're probably asking him how do i know that it's time to transition because baby some people be stuck in the same position for years because they are scared to step out in faith. You be struggling for years, getting stressed out for years because you scared. And then you wanna blame God for you being in that position, but he's been telling you to move. It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, people be stuck for years because they're just like, God, is this the right choice? Is this the right choice? How am I gonna know? It's better I just stay right here since I don't know. The grave is literally the richest place on earth because so many persons didn't have the faith in God to step out and do what it is he was placing on the inside of their heart. A lot of persons ignore it. I was actually just having a conversation with a good, good friend. We were talking about entrepreneurship, the struggles that come with it because basically when you're an entrepreneur, every other week can feel like a transition. That's why it's not for the faint of heart for sure. Your faith gotta be built for tough. We're talking about how people can become stagnant because they are so busy asking God like, oh, what to do, what to do, and not hearing a response or at least not thinking that he's responding in the way that they want him to respond because we always want God to bring like a big sign that says, go this way. With God, you can't fail. We look at it from our human minds and our human perspectives and what other persons may think that, oh, she failed at this god didn't call her to do this because she failed that's not true god uses failure to open up new doors to build us in our faith to him it's not a failure that's not how he's looking at it but that's how you know humans you know how we get sometimes so back to our conversation i heard something so profound that i'd never be able to forget and i shared it with all the scripture says if you delight in me I will give you the desires of your heart. We look at that and we miss the entire first part. We just be like, oh yeah, God is going to give me the desire of my heart. Your desire 
and his desire for you is different if you're not in his will or if you're looking at it from a fleshly perspective of what you want it's all about you 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 of course his desire is not gonna be that he's not gonna give you that to just self-destruct the thing is it says if you delight in him if you seek him first he's going to give you the desires that you need to have the key is to seek him first don't seek things don't seek validation don't seek man's approval seek god first ask him is this what you want for me if you know that you're in his will know that the desire that you have is from him and i just thought that was so profound it was just a revelation <laughs> but on a more practical basis how do we actually know that we're ready for a transition god will give you peace about it he will give you peace of mind he'll give you courage he'll give you confidence to step out you might want to know why should we trust god in seasons of transition you have to remember that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Don't get me wrong, but it's completely natural to allow fear to creep in a little bit. Me and I'm sure everybody else, like there are days, yeah, we're faith filled, we're trusting in God, but there are days and there are times when like, wow, today I feel discouraged. Today I feel, I don't know, is this where God has called me to be? But you have to remember, he's never ever gonna put more on you than you can bear for sure. I know late. Trust me, I know that transitional seasons are rough. Like I said, I'm not the most patient person, but when you go through it multiple times and you see God move every time and you see God work things out for the good, that is what builds your faith in God. That is what builds your trust in him and his plan. Since we kind of wrapping up, I just want to share what has been keeping me content and keeping me at peace. What it is that I find is working for me in this season. So I'm not doing no elaborate eyeshadow. I'm just going to mix two colors together and that's going to be me. The first thing I would say is some serious prayer and fasting even before i took a leap of faith to even decide that the season was over for me if you think you pray and fast one day one time like the answer will be revealed to you sometimes it doesn't happen like one time sometimes you definitely have to like be getting on them knees baby turning away that plate so that you can ensure that you are hearing god properly because you could hear him the first time but it's like hold on god wait did i miss it and make sure like i hear on you for real for real kudos to all who could pray and fast for one day and then just get clarity like that months it took me to receive peace and to know me supposed to have been gone i'm low-key surprised my mom hasn't come in and been like you're not ready yet because they be pressuring you girl i mentioned this before in a previous video but have a circle of people in your life that you feel comfortable with confiding in. Maybe not even everybody who is a part of your circle you can confide in. I believe that the Holy Spirit will lead you to know, like, you can speak with this individual on this. You tell them, like, oh, this is what God has placed on my heart. The leap of faith that he wants me to take. And even though sometimes they might not understand it fully the great thing about confiding in them is that they can pray to god to help you you know gain guidance and wisdom on the steps that he's called you to take and then when you're in this season they can encourage you to remind you like hey this is what god spoke to you what are you doing they are there to remind you and they're there to pray for you in moments of discouragement it's amazing when you have persons around you and they tell you what it is that god has placed on their heart to do you see that come to fruition unbeatable unbeatable if you don't have the right group of people around you they can literally diminish what god has placed on the inside of you because you're not discerning if you didn't take anything from this video, do not tell any and everybody your dreams. 
your goals, the vision that God has given to you. Not everybody can handle it. Not everybody is going into that season with you. And that's just what it is. Ask God to surround you with persons that are gonna say, I understand and I affirm you on this decision or I don't understand but I'm gonna pray about it in agreement with you or come on you need to use wisdom people just can't affirm your foolishness sorry to say it. you should have people in your life that are gonna be real and they should be able to be confident enough and tell you oh I think you need to go back and try to hear them out again I'm late late what else do I need to do I'd be lucky if I get it on without getting glue on my eyelids. But let's see. Okay, that wasn't too bad. The last thing I would say that is currently helping me is reminding God what his word says. See how people do affirmations and stuff like that. There is no better affirmation than the word of God. Like God, in your word, you said that you would never leave me nor forsake me. God, you said that if I would have faith as small as a mustard seed, you said that you would give me strength for this weight. And I'm feeling a little weak. <laughs> they that wait on the Lord shall run you their strength. They shall mount up whenever i feel some type of way god this is what you said so and in his word it says god is not a man that he should lie so and that like definitely gives me the boost of you know confidence and security that i need i can never really tell like if it on my lash or like on my eyeliner once it sticks and it doesn't look funny i'm good I did that pretty good let me know if you use your hands or tweezers I tried tweezers but my lashes don't like them so they be fighting back with the tweezers so yeah like there's no better experiences with God than the ones that require faith when you take the first step it doesn't become easier but you're able to trust him and that's how you build relationship what's relationship without building trust baby it becomes like your instinct. God, you tell me something, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna obey. No matter how long the wait is, no matter how difficult it may be, I'm gonna do what I have to do because I wanna be obedient to you and I want what you want for me. How can we say we want what God wants for us but we're not willing to wait and we're not willing to have faith? How? Don't say I didn't tell you. You're not going to get God's best for you from your comfort zone. It's not going to happen. Now, if you're comfortable with settling, which I hope you don't want to, I'm not in the settling crew. Let me know down below what season you're currently in and what you're doing to cope with the season that you're currently in. And if you're in the transitioning season like myself, I genuinely want to know how are you because sis, I can't stress it enough. It's going to be worth it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Wondering if I should do a glossy lip or a matte lip. I think I'm feeling glossy. I feel like y'all saying glossy, so we'll go with glossy. So trust the process. Be obedient. face is done all right so i just need to fix my hair now and put on my clothes <laughs> your girl is ready i got ready did my makeup did my hair filmed this entire video and she's still not ready y'all see where i get it from um but yes that is it for this get ready with me 
it's giving brunch it's giving london <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching yet another video if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like comment and subscribe i do appreciate all of the love and support and yeah i don't have anything else to say so bye thanks for getting ready with me